From this week's premiere of the Jackie Robinson story to a film festival honoring Harry Belafonte, movies have become a big part of Birmingham's city scene. CBS 42 photojournalist Kyron Arnold checks out how local filmmakers plan to debut their works at this fall's Sidewalk Film Festival. The first Tuesday of every month is a special time at Rojo's, located in the Highland Southside area. It's where local filmmakers meet and network about their current or up-and-coming projects. This week's guest features a former News 42 photographer who has gone on to fulfill another career goal, directing. John Mark Green was a 42 News photographer for many years before he made his first feature which premiered at last year's Sidewalk Film Fest. John Mark, along with writer Stacey Davis, were this month's guests as they discussed adapting film projects from previously released materials, such as books, songs, or plays. Sidewalk asked me to come back uh, this uh, spring, which is actually a year ago today that we were actually shooting a short film, which is based on a short story that was written in 1978. Lipit Leggin is a short story about an antiques dealer who gets involved oh, with a group easy. of farmers who produce their own farm. butter and eggs them after the U.S. government outlaws them because of their high cholesterol food content. Food. So I had a great team of people who helped take that story from the printed page. Uh, it was written by F. Paul Wilson, and he's a science fiction writer who's still writing today. He gave me permission to adapt his story, and we worked it into a, um, a form where we could actually take it and film it. We shot it in one day, small cast, small crew, one location. Functions like these are important to maintaining a community of artists as well as those who understand the laws of adaptation to make sure that ideas can flow free on a screening room and not stuck on the inside of a courtroom. In Birmingham, Kyron Arnold for Wake Up Alabama.